Welcome back. Joining us virtually this afternoon, we have Miss Stacy Romero from the Broussard Chamber of Commerce. Stacy, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Doing great. How about you? I am wonderful. I'm excited you're here this weekend, 4th of July, and you guys over there in Broussard are doing something to kind of kick off the festivities. Go ahead and tell us what you guys have planned. Sure. So this Sunday, July 4th, we are hosting the 16th annual Bruce Art Independence Day Festival out at St. Julian Park. Uh, so we're really excited about it. It's going to be a huge event utilizing the majority of St. Julian Park here in Bruce Art. It's going to be lots of fun. Absolutely. You said you guys have been doing this for 16 years. That's incredible. So if someone's never been to your 4th of July festivity, what do you want to tell them to get them to come out this weekend? Sure. Well, the gates open at 530. Of course, we don't really have gates, but the, the park is open all day. But the event itself kicks off at 530 p.m. on Sunday uh, at 6 p.m. is when all of the activities actually begin. So in the blue pod, which is where we typically have t-ball and softball games out at the park, uh, that's considered our kid zone. So we'll have vendors set up there. We'll have a face painter, a strolling magician, a DJ, of course, concessions. Uh, the splash pad and the playground happening there and then across the park in the red pod where we typically pay, play baseball mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have jet seven performing live on field one and more yard games and things for uh, not only kids but i guess adults too we're going to have cornhole and all sorts of fun things happening on the red side um, so in addition to all of the events and activities and the music, we've got concessions available for sale. And of course, the entire evening culminates at 9 p.m. with an amazing fireworks show that I can't wait to share with, the, with everyone. Um, of course, everyone who's there is going to be able to see it. People from across Bruce Park will be able to see it. But if there's anyone who is not able to join us at the park Sunday night, we are going to have a drone operator on site who will be live streaming the entire fireworks show through the Chamber's Facebook page. So anyone so from cool. across the globe can log in and watch the, the, the show with us. That is awesome. Stacey, it sounds like such a fun time. Thank you so much for joining us virtually to share this event with our viewers. Thanks for having me. Of course, if you guys want to check out the fun, everything Stacy just mentioned is going to be on our website, KLAF.com.